Good morning, this is Roger Guy of Chapter7Attorneys.com. I'm a practicing bankruptcy lo lawyer for over 20 years, and I wanted to do this morning a informational video on bankruptcy and simply just getting started. In, uh, in, or if you are thinking about filing a bankruptcy, whether you're filing a Chapter 7 bankruptcy or thinking of filing a Chapter 13 bankruptcy, there are certain items that you have to have in order to get started. So when you meet with your bankruptcy attorney, let's start with what items that you do need to get started. One of the first things that you're going to need is to be able to start to gather up your uh, paycheck stubs. In fact, when we file a bankruptcy case, we have to file with the bankruptcy case your preceding 60 days of your paycheck stubs. And what that means is basically, let's say for example, you file your bankruptcy case September 1 of 2010, then we would need each and every uh, paycheck stub since August, or excuse me, July rather of 2010. Now, some of you may not have pay advices. Uh, some of you may have been homemakers or unemployed or what have you, or self-employed, and you don't receive a pay advice. In that case, your bankruptcy attorney's office will have to prepare an affidavit for you that you'll have to sign off on, and it'll simply say something to the effect of, I've been, uh, I do not have any pay advices for the preceding 60 days of filing my bankruptcy case because I've been a homemaker or I'm self-employed or uh, what have you, those types of things. Now one of the other items that you are required to do in order to be able to file a bankruptcy case is what's known as a uh, credit counseling certificate. And that's simply known as a consumer credit counseling certificate. And actually there are two certificates that have to be filed uh, in your bankruptcy case. But to get started, this is really a critical uh, document that has to be done because if you don't do it, and you try to file this case without having the certificate, the, the, the whole case is void. You've just wasted a bunch of money for nothing. So that certificate, there are many, many companies that offer that service. They're relatively inexpensive. I don't uh, recommend any particular company. Um, there are a few that I have found that are less expensive than others, and they all do the same job. But the point is that you have to do that counseling certificate. Now, the reason I have 180 days listed just beneath that uh, credit counseling certificate is for the simple fact that once you do that certificate, that certificate is valid for 180 days before you file your bankruptcy case. So if you're thinking that you're going to, you're thinking of filing bankruptcy and then maybe you changed your mind, uh, if you're still within the six month period, uh, you can go ahead and use that same certificate to be able to file your bankruptcy case. Another item that we're going to need is, of course, your income tax return. And again, whether you're filing a Chapter 7 bankruptcy case, whether you're filing a Chapter 13 bankruptcy case, it really doesn't matter. Ten days prior to your bankruptcy hearing, uh, your bankruptcy attorney has to uh, provide to the Chapter 7 uh, bankruptcy trustee or to the Chapter 13 bankruptcy trustee your income tax return, the most recently filed one. And for example, this year we're in 2010, all of the trustees are going to require that the tax return be filed. There are exceptionally limited, limited circumstances in which you uh, do not have to file or provide to the trustee uh, the income tax return, but the bankruptcy code requires that it be produced and really, if the trustee wanted to insist on uh, the, the tax return being filed, they really could. Um, another critical piece of information that uh, we need in order to be able to file your case is your creditor list. A lot of times, uh, my office and any other bankruptcy lawyer's office, they're going to go ahead and probably order your credit report for you. But what I like to do in my practice, I think it's a little safer of a procedure, is to go ahead and have the client, because you know the information better than anybody does, go ahead and have you complete a creditor list with the name, the address, the approximate balance of who you owe. And clients get a little um, anxious about having to do that simply because they, many times clients are worried about it has to be the exact balance. It has to be 
uh, every single creditor? Well, a lot of times clients don't know exactly who they owe, but I always have um, the client fill it out anyhow. The approximate balance is just fine. And in addition to that, uh, just list every single creditor that you do know of. Now, sometimes this really brings a lot of fear into a lot of clients, and it really shouldn't. Clients will tell me constantly, well, I don't want to bankrupt on my house, or I don't want to bankrupt on my car, and so I'm not going to list it. That is a serious, serious, serious error if you're filing a bankruptcy case. Uh, the fact that you list something on your, on your creditor list, such as a vehicle, or you've listed your home, it doesn't mean that you're going to lose your home. It just means that basically when you have, when you're filing uh, for bankruptcy and you're asking for a discharge of your debts, the totality of your circumstances has to be looked at. And so the court has to know exactly all of your assets, and of course a, a vehicle would be an asset, a home would be an asset, and you have to list all of that. Again, it doesn't mean that you're going to lose the property, but it will cause enormous problems in your bankruptcy case if you decide you're not going to go ahead and list it. Um, six months. The reason I have that listed there is because we have to look when we file a bankruptcy case for you, again, whether it's a Chapter 7 bankruptcy case, whether it's a Chapter 13 bankruptcy case, we have to analyze your income for the six months prior to the time that you filed your bankruptcy case. So a lot of times clients will bring into my office either, if they're self-employed and they don't get paycheck stubs, they'll bring into my office their personal banking statements for the preceding six months of filing the case, or they'll bring in their six months of their paycheck stubs, or if they've had one employer during the entire year and they, in your most recent one, and you're getting the same amount every time, we can determine very easily then what your uh, income has been for the preceding six months. So that's another thing that we need to do. Now, we go, as far as getting started, of course, uh, a client interview has to be done, and usually that's done by the attorney's office. The attorney will sit down with you, uh, go over a bunch of questions as far as your income, your debts, what property you own, uh, you know, any lawsuits that may be pending out there, any judgments that may be pending out there, just a bunch of questions. It's a very detailed uh, bankruptcy inquiry by the bankruptcy attorney just to make sure that all of the information in the petition is very accurate. The final thing, uh, after all of that is done, said and done, uh, is that the information that you have given to the bankruptcy attorney is prepared in what we call a bankruptcy petition. And a petition just is really a simple term for just saying, look, the client has given me all of this information, the lawyer's office has done the job of putting it in a formal legal document. All of your bankruptcy information, your income, your assets, your liabilities, all of that um, is done. And so then at that stage when the petition has been prepared and when it's been reviewed by your bankruptcy attorney, then it's ready to be filed, and thank God nowadays the cases are filed electronically. Um, and so that's what really you need to get started if you're thinking about filing a bankruptcy case. Uh, again, if you have any questions, you can call me at 770-792-1000, or my website is uh, www, of course, chapter 7, the number 7, attorneys.com. I hope that you found this uh, informational uh, getting started video helpful and until next time uh, good luck thank you